silver charm, and I'm going to try not to fuck it up. even when my hands are the temperature of the sun, I'm still not a great guitarist. So, um, this song is about how there are politicians in this world, not just politicians, there are people um, at the top of the hierarchy. And I think that for me, at least, it's very easy to forget that there are people that occupy um, the space and the organizations that oppress us, like real life people. Um, because I, I want to see the good in people so badly that I tend to, to forget that there are straight up sociopaths who are like down to just kill whoever they want to to get what they think they need. Um, so when I think about the, that concept and I'm, I'm actually able to, to turn it into something tangible that I can grasp, I get really mad and I don't understand how people like that can live with themselves. Um, and I, I talked about this last night and I'll say the same thing. Is I don't know if it's correct to feel this way and I'm certainly not encouraging this and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that this would benefit anybody's cause whatsoever. But I am just saying that I fantasize about shooting Bill O'Reilly in his fucking head. <laughs> and I fantasize about throwing Ann Coulter into a, 
a big like tank of crocodiles. You know? <laughs> and I'm not saying that would accomplish anything. It probably wouldn't because most things don't accomplish anything, which is why I'm playing an acoustic guitar and I'm all boned out about shit because I have an acute knowledge of this fact. But sometimes, A, I want to shoot those people. There's that. That's what this song is about. I'm going to play it and then I'm going to be done. But B, even though I do feel sometimes like it's hard to make a difference, it's hard to make a change, and the things that I do don't matter. Um, the fact that everybody's gathering in this uh, really fucking cold garage and that Derek went out of his way to fucking make this shit happen in spite of Aunt Mary who was talking some shit about jelly and peanut butter and I don't know what the fuck she was saying. For anybody not there, she was yelling and in the midst of her fucking diatribe she said, and these kids are bringing peanut butter that still has jelly in it. And there's so many layers to that, because first of all, that's a product. You can buy that. So does she not know that you can buy pre-mixed peanut butter and jelly? I don't know. Furthermore, if she's not aware of that, then the implication there is that there was supposed to be jelly in it at one time, and then they didn't remove it before they donated it, which is evidently a standard practice, according to Aunt Mary. I don't fucking know. But it was total insanity. And Derek just personally Severed and he was cool as a motherfucking cucumber. I would have fucking flipped shit. And later tonight, I'm gonna combine peanut butter and jelly because they mean they're supposed to go to bed together. I'm gonna put them on a sandwich. I'm gonna be very happy. Somebody tell Mary that that's a sick combination. Uh, I'm gonna play this song called Grace. My name is Greg Gordon. Koji's up Some, no, I'm Audi 5000. I'm sorry, I'm on some shit right now. <laughs> but I'm just really fucked up about Mary, not knowing about a staple food item. <laughs>